Hello there green thumbs and curious minds. Welcome to our channel where we explore the fascinating world of plants. Today, let's embark on a journey into the realm of plant breeding and genetics, a fascinating intersection of art, science and nature. This is where we delve into the secrets of plant life, unraveling how they grow, evolve and adapt. Plant breeding is a wondrous process, an intricate dance of genes and traits bringing forth the diverse array of plants that grace our world. From the juicy apples in our orchards to the vibrant roses in our gardens, each is the result of careful and meticulous plant breeding. But what exactly is plant breeding? At its core, it's the science of selecting and combining parent plants to produce offspring with desired characteristics. It's like a chef creating a new recipe, carefully selecting ingredients to create a unique and delightful flavor. And the magic ingredient behind all this? Genetics. Yes, those tiny invisible genes hold the blueprint of life, dictating the characteristics of plants, from their size and shape to their color and taste. By understanding the language of genes, plant breeders can create new plant varieties, better suited to our needs and preferences. The importance of plant breeding in our daily life cannot be overstated. The fruits and vegetables we consume, the ornamental plants that add beauty to our surroundings, the crops that sustain our economies, all are products of plant breeding. Through plant breeding, we can improve the nutritional value of our food, make our gardens more beautiful, and even combat climate change by creating plants that are more resilient and adaptable. So, whether you're a plant enthusiast keen on creating your own unique plant varieties, or a curious mind interested in understanding the secrets of nature, the world of plant breeding and genetics has much to offer. With the right knowledge, you too can unlock the secrets of plant genetics. Ready to dive in? So, what exactly is genetics and how does it play a role in plant breeding? Well, genetics is the science of heredity. It is all about understanding how traits are passed from parents to offspring. This process is governed by tiny units of inheritance called genes, which are found inside every cell of an organism. Imagine genes as a set of instructions written in a complex language of chemical codes. This code is known as DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. Each DNA molecule is like a cookbook for a plant, with each gene representing a different recipe. These recipes dictate everything from a plant's height to its flower color to its resistance against diseases. Now, let's talk about chromosomes. They are basically the bookshelves holding all these cookbooks. In most cells, DNA is packed into structures called chromosomes. For instance, a single cell of a tomato plant contains 12 pairs of chromosomes, while a rose has 7. Each of these chromosomes holds hundreds, sometimes thousands of genes. When plants reproduce, they pass these genes onto their offspring, creating a new generation with similar but not identical traits. This is why a tomato plant's fruit might taste similar to its parents, but with slight variations in size, color or sweetness. But here's where it gets interesting. By understanding these genetic principles, plant breeders can manipulate the characteristics of plants to create new varieties. For example, a breeder might cross a disease-resistant tomato plant with one that produces exceptionally sweet fruit, aiming to create a new variety of tomato that has both these desirable traits. This is just a simple example. In reality, plant breeding is a complex and time-consuming process, often taking years of careful selection and cross-breeding to achieve the desired results. But the rewards can be immense, leading to more resilient, productive and flavorful crops. Now that we have a basic understanding of genetics, let's see how plant breeders use this knowledge. Scene script. Plant breeders are like artists, but instead of paint and canvas, they use genes and plants. Imagine the world as an enormous gallery and each plant as a masterpiece meticulously painted by these unsung artists. The art of plant breeding is an intricate dance of science and creativity, where breeders weave together the threads of genetics to create unique and beneficial plant varieties. Plant breeding begins with the careful selection of parent plants. Breeders look for plants with desirable traits such as disease resistance, drought tolerance or enhanced nutritional content. But just as a painter doesn't simply splash colors randomly, breeders don't just choose any plants. They tap into the genetic blueprint of each plant, understanding the traits each can lend to their progeny. 
Once the parent plants are chosen, the magic of cross-pollination begins. This is where the science and art of plant breeding intertwine. Breeders acting as nature's matchmakers ensure the pollen from one plant reaches the flower of another. In this intimate dance of nature, the genes of the two plants merge, creating a unique mix of traits in their offspring. However, the artist's work is far from over. Just as a painter steps back to assess their work, breeders must evaluate the offspring, selecting those that best express the desired traits. This process of selection can take years, even decades, mirroring the patience and dedication of an artist perfecting their masterpiece. Understanding genetics is the compass that guides breeders through this complex labyrinth. It's the knowledge of how traits are passed from parents to offspring, how genes interact and how they can be manipulated that empowers breeders to create the vibrant tapestry of plant life we see around us. It's a complex process, but the results can be extraordinary. Let's look at one such extraordinary technique, hybridization. Ever wondered how we get seedless watermelons or roses with unique colors? The answer is hybridization. Hybridization is a fascinating aspect of plant breeding that involves the deliberate crossing of two different plant species or varieties to produce a hybrid. This hybrid offspring often exhibits traits superior to those of either parent, a phenomenon known as hybrid vigor or heterosis. Hybridization is not to be confused with natural cross-pollination, which occurs when pollen from one plant fertilizes the flowers of another. While cross-pollination is nature's way of creating genetic diversity, hybridization is a more controlled process executed by plant breeders with a specific goal in mind. Now one might wonder, how do we create these new plant varieties through hybridization? The process begins with the careful selection of parent plants. These plants are chosen based on desirable traits such as disease resistance, yield, or aesthetic appeal. For instance, consider the seedless watermelon. A plant breeder might start with two parent watermelons, one with small seeds and one with large seeds. The breeder would then cross these watermelons to create a hybrid that combines the best of both worlds, a watermelon with no seeds at all. Or take roses, for example. A plant breeder might cross a red rose with a yellow rose to create a stunning orange hybrid. That's how we get those roses with unique colors that you see at the florist. It's not just about looks though. Hybridization is also used to create plants that are hardier, more disease resistant or more productive. It's a tool that helps us adapt to changing environments and meet the demands of a growing population. The process of hybridization is a complex one involving careful selection, cross-breeding, and often years of observation and testing. But the results? They're well worth the effort. With hybridization, the possibilities are endless. It's no less than magic, don't you think? From the food on our plates to the flowers in our gardens, plant breeding touches our lives in so many ways. It's a science that's all around us, shaping the world we live in, one plant at a time. Plant genetics is the cornerstone of plant breeding. It's the genetic code found in every cell of a plant, dictating the plant's growth, appearance, and even its taste. For instance, the sweet taste of a strawberry or the fiery heat of a chili pepper all can be traced back to their genetic makeup. Plant breeding, on the other hand, is an art as much as it is a science. It's the process of selecting, crossing, and cultivating plants with desirable traits. It's how we get seedless watermelons, disease-resistant tomatoes, and roses that bloom all year round. Hybridization is a key tool in the plant breeder's toolkit. It's the process of cross-pollinating two different species of plants to create a new variety with the best traits of both. It's like mixing paints on a palette, but instead of colors, we're blending genes. The result is a new plant variety that's more vibrant, more resilient, or more delicious than its parents. But it's not just about creating new varieties of plants. It's also about preserving biodiversity and protecting our environment. By breeding plants that are more resistant to pests, diseases, and harsh weather conditions, we can reduce our reliance on harmful pesticides and help our planet thrive. In essence, plant genetics and breeding is a dance between nature and nurture. It's a skillful blend of science and artistry that allows us to shape our world, one plant at a time. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of plant genetics and breeding. If you enjoyed this video, 
please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more green thumb content. Until next time, keep growing.